Hi everyone, this is interesting. It seems another volcano popped because of this 8.8 .8 magnitude mega thrust earthquake that happened in Kamchatka on July 30th. So this is crazy. And this is crazy because we know on the Pacific Ring of Fire, there's other areas where there all these volcanoes are. And let's say there's another big earthquake somewhere else on the Pacific Ring of Fire. We know what to expect, hint, hint. I'm talking about the west coast of Canada and the US where we have volcano after volcano and we have that Cascadia Fault, the big one looming. They say this is overdue. So Kamchatka in Russia, this was quite the deal, this earthquake, when it sent tsunami waves all over the Pacific. And I've reported about this, volcano after volcano was popping even after centuries of dormancy. So the issue is also on the Kamchatka Peninsula and that's why probably more volcanoes are being triggered. We've got these strong aftershocks. We've got a 6.0, 6.1 depending on which agency says it. Just right now today we had a 6 point something yesterday and then we have tons and tons of aftershocks in the five range. So this is still going on almost a month after the main shock. So that many scientists are asking, is this still the case that this is aftershocks or is there something, is another fault being triggered because the earthquakes were also migrating. So the July 30th event was the biggest in a sequence of earthquakes that had already started before the big one, four shocks. It began to rattle on the Kamchatka Peninsula 10 days earlier already. So preceding this magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquake, we had over 50 earthquakes with magnitude five plus, that's a lot. And there was also a 7.4 earthquake on July 20th, where everyone thought that's the main shock. So what do we learn from that? We can, there's always a bigger, it can always get bigger. And there were also three earthquakes, magnitude 6.6. .6. So these are the four shocks. The aftershocks aren't that much better. Lots in numbers, lots in numbers. But let's talk about the volcano. So after we had that strong earthquake yesterday and another strong earthquake today, the volcano Ka Rimsky is a nice sounding name, has erupted, is erupting volcanic ash quite high in the air. It's also located on the Kamchatka Peninsula, of course. Volcanic ash right now is rising to an altitude of roughly two miles, 2,700 meters. It's drifting southeast. And this is another volcano in the line of volcanoes that have erupted since then. It's absolutely crazy. Simultaneously, we had eruption on the Kamchatka Peninsula. Of course, Karimsky is sporadically active and there were also other volcanoes that were already active when the 8.8 .8 happened. But what was clearly seen that the ones that were already active have clearly intensified their activity drastically after the earthquake. So with Karimsky, since it's been sporadically active, we can say with 100% certainty that the earthquakes are the only reason why it's showing activity. But also, again, what we can say here, the increased activity. I mean, if it's already active, but then the shaking seems to have triggered some more. It has triggered really dormant volcanoes and it has intensified already active volcanoes. For example, Bezemiani, same thing like with Karimsky here. Shivaluk, same thing, has already been active. I've reported about this quite a bit, but then it was really spewing ash up in the sky. They are continuously active, but, and they make headlines every few weeks or months because they produce new eruptions. Klitschewskoy also was already active when the earthquake happened. But the eruptions and they increased only hours after the earthquake. So there was a really direct connection. And then Krashenikov, that was the biggest surprise. 
It was inconspicuous before the earthquake happened. Nobody thought that something's going on there. There were no warning signs that there would be an eruption coming or in the works. So before the earthquakes, no signs of awakening and then poof, it erupted just a few days after the earthquake. So magma seemed to have been triggered to rise up and then the eruption happened. This is the best case where volcanologists are quite sure that it's definitely the earthquake that has triggered that one. Do we have enough scientific evidence? Well, we have to say it's still pending. The problem is all these volcanoes are in quite remote areas. They are not as heavily surveilled as other volcanoes on the West Coast, for example, where the USGS is recording everything that's happening at the volcanoes there. So we don't have enough recorded data to really draw a scientific based conclusion. So the scientists can only guess or assume and watch what's obvious. Krasenikov is, by the way, still active. It last erupted just two days ago, has spewed up ash up in the air again. Kaminsky has also triggered air advisories all over the place right now to airlines, air traffic controllers, avoid the area. So we have to see what's going on with these aftershocks. It's, we can really say the earthquake activity around the Kamchatka Peninsula has not calmed down and the volcanic activity hasn't calmed down either. So what's to come? We have these numerous and sometimes strong earthquakes still occurring along the Kuril Kamchatka trench. And you see that trench here on, on the satellite pictures. You see really how that trench is located. And we just had the strongest of these aftershocks happening last night. So are the aftershocks getting stronger again? Is there something more happening? I will keep you updated about this, guys, and you really should check out the videos in the end screen. Crazy stuff going on, and I know you can't click them all at once. That's why please subscribe and check my channel page, and then go to videos, go to recent, and there you can all binge watch them. I would love to see you there. If you want to fill me up with coffee, go to the link in the description underneath the video player here, buymeacoffee.com slash silky. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for your supers. Hello, new members. Thank you for clicking the join button and supporting this channel with a membership. You're getting behind the scenes videos for that. I'll see you there very, very soon, guys. And click here. I see you in a second. Stay safe. Bye-bye.